Capricorns, welcome to your full moon in Virgo horoscope. It's going down Saturday, February 24th, and this is everything my Capricorn sun, moon, risings need to know for this full moon, all right? Now, y'all are feeling a little adventurous, okay? Or curious, okay? Your intelligence is peaking. You want to know more. Now, y'all could be wanting to learn or study through those experiences, taking a trip, going on an adventure, booking it, booking.com.now, okay? Um, you could also be feeling like you're having some full circle moment, like where everything that you've been studying or learning about putting your energy into is like, okay, I finally am putting the puzzle pieces together. Now this Virgo full moon is also going to be impacting your house that has to deal with communications. Now, some of you guys could have some legal issues coming up or you're getting legal representation or an expert that can help you do certain contracts. Another thing is that this full, this um, Pisces energy is asking you to express yourself. There's a lot of important conversations that y'all are needing to have. And these conversations can be with elders, can be with experts, or people who have different experiences than you. Maybe they're from another country, or they are just wise in a topic that you are still curious about. You are also feeling hella busy during this Pisces season. Y'all have so much to do. So make sure you're not overbooking, overextending yourself because that's a possibility too. Now you are also going to be maybe writing something, speaking, doing some public speaking, um, with this energy. Some of you guys can hear from cousins, siblings, uh, people that you were raised with that you haven't heard from in a minute especially if they live somewhere else and live in another country, this full moon in Virgo, you guys will be having a conversation. And another thing I'm seeing with this is that we have that Venus Jupiter square happening in these houses that are going to make you perhaps want to spend a little bit of extra coin. Make sure it's on something that will retain its value because you guys are also going to go for the shiny object syndrome where it's like, oh, it's cute. Oh, I want it. Oh, I need it. Oh, it's trending. Oh, it's an aesthetic. And it's like, are you really going to use that in the long term? Or is this something that you're going to dispose of and not truly value? You guys could also be getting, um, you know, these invitations to go out and to do some fun things with your people. And some of you guys are also birthing something completely new and completely fresh, and you're needing to invest your resources, your finances in it in some way. And make sure you don't lose sight of your values and how much you are worth because you don't want to sell yourself short with this energy by just saying yes to things because they look good in the moment. Now you guys have your six of swords card, and this is really about, you know, a lot of worriness and anxiety around the next chapter. How is this going to happen for me? Okay. Y'all have to realize that you do have some divine support. Okay. Some of you guys, your divine support is your children. Okay. Or your projects, the ones that you are so passionate about that bring you so much joy. Focus on what's going right in your life. Focus on that gratitude. Okay. I also feel like you guys are going to be working a lot. Surprise, surprise, Capricorn. You're working a lot, but you're having more energy to work or at least put uh, words to your work. So you are, you know, maybe writing for your job. Okay. You're writing for your job. You're doing some public speaking. You're voicing what you've been working on, what you've been determined and really hyper-focused and vigilant on. Another way we can look at this is that maybe you could be getting in conflict or confrontation with people that you work with, customers, clients, yo, co you know, coworkers, all of that can also be happening. So steer clear of the drama because we just don't have no time for it. And another thing that I'm seeing is there could also be a connection that could be really triggering your inner child. And this can be also triggering ideas about the way you were raised, mommy issues, daddy issues, all of those issues coming up for you, Capricorn. So be gentle with yourself at this time and try not to um, be so hard on yourself because 
we also are going to be having this full moon with Saturn, your ruler. So you could be feeling like so many limitations, so many responsibilities, the weight of the world is crushing on you, but don't worry. The divine is on your side, getting you to the next chapter, even if you don't see how. And if you're interested on this full moon in Virgo, we are doing our detox and detach Reiki, releasing to receive. So if you're interested in that, secure a spot on my website, bigempressenergyllc.com. Bye.